curling player Anna Sidorova considers the doping case of figure skater Camila Valida to be a setup. And which of the skaters do you like? Do you root for someone? You played curling with Valida and Tursova. When there was a pre-Olympic championship of Russia, Dima, Soloviev, and I had four favorites. Camila, Sasha, Anya, Shcherbakova, and Liza, to Tamashiva. Each of them has something special. Liza just deserved it. Camila has everything sliding, jumping, and stretching. Anya has the ability to go to the start and win after bad training. Sasha has courage. I didn't listen to anyone. I went ahead. I'm proud that I know her. And the Olympics ended with the case of Camila's anti-doping violation. I generally think that perhaps it was a setup. She definitely did it unconsciously, if she did. Because with Kreshelnitsky I am 100% sure about the setup. In 2022, everyone again needed a scandal with Russian athletes. The louder you take the name, the stronger it is. This is no coincidence notice how everything was rigged by numbers. But the violation itself was at the Russian championship. Yes, it's even more convenient. Believer was supposed to win Europe in the Olympics. And if we check everything the day before, then we will press Russia even harder. For you to understand, after the Russian championship, the test result will be ready in two weeks. And how much time has passed. It was a planned act, in my opinion. Sidorova said. The ROC will not announce recommendations on the participation of Russians in international competitions on May 25th. The Russian Olympic Committee announces the postponement of the issuance of recommendations on the participation of Russian athletes and officials in the events of international sports organizations, consultations with which are currently ongoing. Under the current conditions, additional time is required for discussion with all interested organizations, taking into account the necessary practical effectiveness of the recommendations, primarily for all Russian sports federations. The ROC expresses its solidarity with Russian athletes who, due to legal and illegitimate sanctions, have been restricted from participating in international competitions over the past 15 months. The meeting of the Executive Committee of the Russian Olympic Committee on May 25th will be held behind closed doors, without voting on this document. The press approach on the results of the Executive Committee will not take place, the ROC said. Journalist Nikita Plokic sharply criticized Alina Zajitova for her work as a host and arrogance. Now there is a practice that people from professional sports, Olympic champions go into journalism. For example, Ice Age was hosted by Alina Zajitova. Do you think it is possible to leave sports for journalism without any experience, education and practice? We have already said that a journalistic education does not give anything. If a person has data, a delivered speech, he knows how to work in the frame, the camera loves him, then you are welcome. If it is pleasing to the viewer, then why not? For example, Alexei Yagidin worked in the Ice Age. He is not a professional journalist, but he has become a great professional in this. But it looks organic. Alexei is pleasant in terms of energy, he has a good speech. Adelina Zajitova is the worst host I have ever seen. I have one not very good story connected with Alina Zajitova. And I will tell her. Alina herself is a very arrogant girl. Yes, she is an Olympic champion. But she breaks away from reality a bit, lives in her own world, where ordinary people play secondary roles. We were supposed to have an interview with her. In my opinion, it was the Russian Golf Championship, to which she came as a guest. As a journalist from RBC, now Plakak works as the head of the exclusive news department at Soviet Sport, I made arrangements with the organizers to interview her. For the sake of this, I did not go to Ovechkin. I waited all day for Alina at this event. When we arrived at this championship, she was late. Then I did my hair for about an hour. Then she went to shoot for a bookmaker company. When she filmed, I was told that I could go interview. At that moment, she went somewhere upstairs to her dressing room, saying that she was tired. As a result, I waited for her from 12 o'clock to 2200 hours. I go up to her, I say. Alina, hello. She told me take a picture. I say that we agreed with her for an interview, and she answered me that I would resolve all issues through her manager, and left. I can't help but ask you. How did you choose Alina between Ovechkin and Zajitova? You played hockey yourself. Because, unfortunately, Zajitova brings more clicks to the publication. And we start from what brings us more views. Maybe I myself would have chosen Ovechkin, but I am acting in the interests of RBC. Moreover, I had time for both interviews, if I had not waited for Elena until the evening. But I'm glad that it happened. That day I met commentator Viktor Gusev. We rode together in a taxi, talked about everything. So I took some pleasant moment from that day. 
but I repeat. Alina Zajitova is a very unpleasant person. Toxic. Said the journalist of Soviet sport.